Hi guys! My name is Abdul Rahman Siddiqui, aka Pakistani Pepper. I'm a high school teacher and Google Certified Educator. Today I'm going to show you how you can use your iPad to access your teacher's online classroom in Google Meet slash Google Hangouts. I previously made one for the computers for both teachers and students, and one of the commenters asked if I could do it for the iPad or tablets in general. So here it is. Quick note on my channel, there's a bunch of tutorials for teachers and students, and some lighthearted comedy skits and some anime and gaming content. If that appeals to your interest, consider subscribing. Now, let's get started on Google Meet and Google Hangouts tutorial for iPad right now. Begin by going to the App Store and searching for Google Meet in the search bar. You should see an app called Hangouts Meet by Google. Go ahead and download it. At that point, it should say Welcome to Meet and ask for access to your camera and microphone. Go ahead and allow it. At that point, click Sign In and sign in with your school email. Notice how I'm signed in with my student's school email. At that point, you're going to click on Meeting Code and enter the code that your instructor, professor, or teacher has provided. You need this code to enter the meeting. Type in the code and click Join Meeting, and you are officially in the meeting with your instructor. As you can see on the top right, the little sign shows both you and your professor. Now on the top right, you will see a bunch of buttons. There's the volume button, the CC for closed captioning, and the little person button that shows you who's involved. There's also the comment button, which allows you to submit comments to your professor in case you can't speak with them. Next to it, there's also the little information button, which allows you to get the information for the meeting and the three help buttons, which show you what each button essentially does. And that is essentially everything you need to be able to use your iPad in Google Meet or Google Hangouts to take part in the classroom. At that point, you can end the meeting and rejoin as you need. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial and it broke down for you how you could make sure that you can access your teacher's classroom. If you have any questions, please do let me know and I will respond to them to the best of my ability and any tutorials I can make, I would be happy to do so. This is Pakistani Pepper saying peace out, stay peppery, and don't forget, sometimes life's best lessons are in the stories we hear least. Have an awesome day, guys.